Joshua, you are back. Congratulations. I sent you 12 into the promised land to spy it out, and we've waited anxiously for your report. So let's have it. The land flows with milk and honey. <laughs> that should satisfy the people who've complained about the manna and the water. And what else? You say that there are wild grains growing everywhere and fruit in abundance? Those grapes came from there? Look at the size of those. Here, put them on the end of my rod. Oh, they're so heavy I can't even pick them up. It's wonderful. What did you say, Shemuel? That the cities are fortified. Not to worry. Our God who caused water, walls of water to fall on the Egyptians can certainly tear down walls of stone that prevent us from the promised land. But there are giants in the land. Giants, you say? So large that we look like grasshoppers? Hmm. Giants. Well, let me ask you one question. Are these so-called giants larger than our God? You're right, Caleb. Let us go in and take the land that God has given us. What? You people are still murmuring? Some of you still want to go back to Egypt? Why is it that you refuse to follow me? And God. And go into the promised land. Well, you have made your choice once again. And this time you, we, we will wander in the wilderness for 40 years. And we will not enter the promised land. Thank you.